What's good y'all, it's Turk and I'm back with another video. So, I'm not gonna lie, ever since I told you guys how to get a thousand subs, a few people DM me, ask me what equipment I use, and now I'm gonna show you, I got you. I'm gonna show you the equipment I use, the equipment I started, up, started off with, and now the equipment that I'm comfortable with. So, you know what time it is, it's Turk time. I've been at it, I've been moving with a purpose Show respect to execution, if I got it, I deserve it Let them know, every day I go hard cause I want it all This was all hard work, luck was not involved So after watching so many videos on what equipment to use um, I finally settled in my mind what equipment that I wanted to use So I went to Best Buy and the first piece of equipment I ever bought was this Canon GX7 is a point and shoot camera the uh, screen flips up it does not go to the side it just flips straight up like this or whatnot so usually I use this as my dash cam so um, I will set it on my dash I got a little um, tripod for my dash and this fits in between the dash and the window so this is what I use for point and shoot this is my first ever camera um, the quality is superb um, I never had a problem with quality that the autofocus is always on point you know but the only problem I had was and I ran into it very fast that this has no space for an external microphone so um, if you're out and about and you're doing your little vlogging tip and the wind blows even just a little bit it just destroys everything like the wind this picks up is crazy because the microphone is good so if you have a good microphone it's gonna pick up on little things so if the wind blows you have your AC on if any type of wind is getting to this camera you might as well scratch what you were saying because you're not gonna hear a thing all you're gonna hear is wind blowing all throughout you know you guys if you have a cell phone and you're recording on that when the wind blows it's a wrap it's a wrap so that's the only bad thing about this uh, camera but it's not necessarily bad um, I do have a tripod for this and I'm gonna show you what I use as a tripod for this little camera so this is the Joby tripod that I use. You know, you guys know Joby. They're always known for these like bead looking things or whatnot. You can make it a tripod, stand the camera up like so, or you could curl it, you put them all together, curl it a certain way, they bend the way you want to or whatnot. And now you have this. It does have a ball head so you could switch the angles of it. And um, yeah, you just twist this to the bottom of your camera and now you got a vlogging camera. Um, this is, I don't know which version this is. This is definitely a smaller version as you can see. If you wanna compare it to my hand, it's probably no bigger than like the full length of my hand. So you see there's a screw here. Every camera, you'll see something like that. Just go in here. Twist it, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if you want to put it on, you twist to the right, boom, you have your camera. Flip it up, and you start vlogging. So when I notice that this is not going to stop wind from blowing in my videos, and I had to scratch a lot of videos where I had to mute it and just play music over it, I kind of got sick of it. The only thing I could really do with that camera is something like this. So. Um, I upgraded cameras, one that you could have an external mic, and I'm going to show you guys. So the second piece of equipment that I ever used was the Canon M50. I watched a lot of videos on it, I was convinced, I bought it, and it's been magic since. So I'm going to show you guys the Canon M50. This is the Canon M50, second piece of equipment I've ever got. Well, second camera I've ever got. This is the stock lens, which I believe is a 15 by 45 millimeter. Um, it is good. I definitely want a second lens for it, but I haven't got around to it. But as you guys can see, the default lens is not bad whatsoever. 
the screen does pop out and it could turn around so i kind of like it on the side so it doesn't have to flip up or whatnot but it is bigger in stature so i mean it kind of evens out but i i do like this screen a little better because um, you know if you have a tripod you could do the high shots and you could still look at the screen as so or whatnot and flip it up or if you want to take selfies or whatnot you just flip it to the other side now of course i don't hold the camera like this i had to get a whole new tripod for it because the little joby tripod that i had is not going to hold the weight of this camera so i'm going to show you guys the tripod that i use to do this this is called the switch pod um, you could do the selfie mode if you have the camera pointed towards you or you could turn it away and kind of get the scenery. It's pretty cool. Um, one mistake I made, this is actually my second one that I had to go through. So when I first got it, I twisted the camera on and but the camera was like facing this way but I wanted it to face me. So I did one last hard twist to make it face me and this that you screw the camera on snapped off so what you need to do to avoid that is put the camera on and twist this on the bottom until it's tight don't spin the camera around twist it till it's there so it has a good grip you can hold it it's pretty cool and also when you want to set it down you put the legs out boom put it on the table do what you got to do so I'm gonna show you guys how to twist it on. You don't wanna, uh, you don't wanna twist the camera. So you put it on here and just twist the bottom. Like so till it's nice and tight. Boom, and now you're vlogging. What's up guys, how you doing? So if you want it the other way, Untwist it a little bit, okay? Turn it the other way. And tighten it up once more. And now, I can film what's in front of me. Easy as one, two, three. So if you guys wanna know what this sounds like with the external mic, this is the Canon M50. This is what it looks like, this is what it sounds like. You guys tell me what you think. So right now, this is the Canon M50 without the external mic. This is what it sounds like, just raw, no external mic. This is the Canon M50. You guys can tell me what you think. And by the way, when I have it um, with the external mic, I set the settings to low, so I know if I sound a little lower, that's because I set the external mic to the volume one, so it doesn't pick up on wind. Um, and also, um, you don't want to hear a lot of noise, like a lot of static in the background. So that's another reason why I put it on one. Uh, you could change the settings by putting it on anything you want. And also, when you're editing your videos, you can put the volume up. So right now, my volume stays on 100. I believe it could go up to 400 with high noise. If you guys can hear me and see me, this is the Canon G7X. Of course, this is no external mic. This is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. For the most part, the quality is the same, in my own opinion. Um, I think this is a little less quality than uh, the M50, but it's a lot, so a lot smaller, so. So this is my ring light. It's from Newer. It's a brand. Um, I'll leave the link in the description, but it comes with a whole tripod. It has this little switch right under it. So you could twist and then the light comes on. And right now I have this on it, you know, it's the default setting. So right now this is a dim light. You could make it very bright where it's like blind and that's the brightest there. Trust me, I don't think you ever need the brightest, but it also comes with an orange filter for more of a warm instead of bright so comes with a whole tripod now you can't even see it kind of blends in okay there we go so yeah this is what we got for the ring light 
It's the 18 inch model by Newer. I'll leave the link in the description. I got it off Amazon, but I'm pretty sure they sell it in other places. Um, I forget how much I paid for it, but like I said, I'll post the link in there. Um, this is the ring light. It also comes with a thing to hold your camera right here so it'll hold your camera and it also comes with another piece where it'll hold your cell phone as well so as you know i was telling you guys about external mics and why i even got the m50 and i'm going to show you guys the external mic that i use for the canon m50 so this is the rode video mic pro this is a shotgun mic for your camera you mount it on top and it works wonders, honestly. Um, I have the settings on low, so if you ever notice that I sound low, it's because um, I keep the volume on one. It has a few buttons in the back that you can play with. It has a few buttons in the back you can play with. This thing works wonders. I really like it. I highly suggest it. So this is the Video Mic Pro Shotgun Mic by Rode. So I would give it a shot. And if you notice on the top of your camera, it has a little thing that just slides in and you're there. Guys, that is all the equipment that I use. Um, let me know if this is helpful. I guess I'll leave the equipment I use in every description that I have, um, not just this one. So I'll go back and I'll fix things and um, again, you don't need this equipment. You could always start off by using your phone. It's just something that I prefer to use at the time. So this is what it is. And I'm Turk. And this is the video. Thank you, guys. Dad, what's wrong? My life's a TV show. Here's another episode. Sticking to the scripts where I'm always skeptical.